And now we have yet another equation with fractions and variables on both sides. Where do we get started? Well, I want to get rid of the fractions. Well, to be more precise, I want to get rid of these denominators. So what can I do? If I multiply both sides by 6, I can get rid of both these denominators. denominators. Okay, so let's do that. Let's multiply both sides by 6. The first thing we need to do is expand. Right, so I'm going to distribute the 6. 6 times 1 half is just 6 over 2. Essentially because the 6 is 6 over 1. 6 times 1 is 6. 1 times 2 is 2. Plus, now 6 times 1 is 6. 1 times 6 is 6. And the x remains. Over on this side, 6 times negative 2 is negative 12. And 6 times x is 6x. Over here, 6 divided by 2 is just 3. So we got rid of the 2. Fantastic. Then 6 divided by 6 is just 1. So that cancels out completely. And we have just 1x, which I can rewrite as just x. And that's still equal to negative 12 plus 6x. Great. Now what can I do? Now I can add 12 to both sides of the equation. These would cancel out. 3 plus 12 is 15. We're adding an x. And that's equal to 6x. But I want to isolate x. So what can I do? Well, first I'm going to have to bring this x over here. And combine the x's. So I can subtract x from both sides of the equation. Those cancel out. I can bring down the 15. 6x minus x is just 5x. Because there's a hidden 1 here, and we have 6 minus 1 is just 5, so 5x. Okay, so let's continue over, in the, over on the other side. So 15 is equal to 5x. Now I can just divide both sides by 5, since we want to isolate x. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 15 divided by 5 is 3. So x is equal to 3. That's it. 